This is David Moore, and this is IndieRockReviews.com. I was the oldest in Chamberlain, and I was 16, uh, which was split lip at the time. Um, but yeah, I was 16, so I had I had a driver's license, so we could tour. Uh, you know, tour. We could get in the uh, uh, station wagon and go and play around um, surrounding areas in the Midwest. And we did a lot of shows in Louisville and Dayton, Ohio, and um, just started going out on the road right off the bat. Um, so yeah, very young. Adam was probably, I think Adam was 13 or 14 when we started playing together and recording. So um, it's been a, a long ride for sure. Yeah. Well, uh, after uh, the old band, after Chamberlain broke up, um, I kind of put everything away and had kind of convinced myself that uh, I was done, you know, done writing music and playing music. And um, so I went through a, a little hiatus, sort of a sabbatical for several years, probably four or five years. And then um, Doghouse Records was in the process of putting out a, uh, a Bob Dylan uh, cover record, strangely enough, and uh, Dirk from Doghouse had told me that they were doing this record, so um, I said, "Well, I gotta, you know, I have to do that. Uh, you gotta let me, you know, you gotta let an old buddy do a, a Dylan song on on the on the r record." And so um, they paid for me to go out to New York and record a song, and I picked the Dylan song I wanted to do, and we recorded it, and it kind of brought everything back. It was like the process of recording. Um, the song and uh, hooked back up with Adam who was the other songwriter in Chamberlain and we started uh, from that point on writing and, and recording uh, together again and he would fly out to Indiana from New York and we would just start writing and writing and writing and the next thing we knew uh, a couple years later we had uh, we had this record which is called My Lover My Stranger and uh, it's due out here in the next couple months, so we're really excited about it. There, no, there was a lot, a lot of hesitation. You know, I, uh, I had spent the better part of probably four or five years kind of starting a family and putting down roots and just kind of like forgetting about the last probably 12, 13 years of playing music and touring and writing and recording. And um, I, I guess I didn't really... Uh, have a full appreciation for how much I missed it until we got back into the studio and started doing it again. And um, I had, I was blessed enough to have this sort of network of friends, Adam, uh, who, who writes songs with me, and then uh, Dirk, who owns Doghouse, um, was like, man, if there's ever th anything I want to do, I want to make another record with you. So uh, after all those years, he was uh, willing to fund a record and um, I wasn't quite sure how it was all going to work, and I was a little, probably a little apprehensive and nervous about the fact that, uh, you know, it was going to be a solo record, because I had never done anything like that before. But, um, like I said, I was blessed enough to have this sort of circle of believers that um, got me back out there. So, um, the record is, is, you know, I couldn't be more proud of it. it, it it's, a good, it's a good record. It's a good group of songs, so... I had had some songs that I had sort of been sitting on for a little while. Um, I would pick up the guitar every once in a while and play for the kids when they were <laughs> going to sleep. And, you know, I had uh, written probably three or four songs that I knew um, had something to them. Um, I wrote a song called Jericho, which kind of wrote itself with one of those songs that just kind of came out of nowhere and sat in. Uh, in my bathroom one night and wrote this whole song and then um, sort of showed those to Adam and then he had a handful of, of ideas that he had been working on during our uh, separation uh, period and uh, once we were together it was just like the momentum started all over again you know it was just like um, it all made sense so we didn't really look back at that point it was just all right let's just go we got to keep writing because uh, we knew we had something of, of value, so. Well, you know, my v voice is, from the early days that we started playing, you know, I, I didn't really have much of a voice. Um, I kind of 
often laugh about the fact my mother has like the most amazing beautiful voice you've ever heard and my father can't even carry a, a tune so I kind of started my career sounding a lot more like my dad and then uh, as I you know as I you know was recording and playing I kind of learned how to use it I wasn't like get, I, I didn't get sort of a gift for for singing um, it was something I really had to had to work for so I think it, it kind of gets better and better with time, you know, as I do it. So, um, you know, I'm pretty content with it. Hopefully it, hopefully it keeps, to, keeps improving the way it has. So my job after my first son was born, I, you know, just started to focus on other things and kind of forgot about being creative for a long time. And um, which was a good thing, you know, at the time I needed to kind of find my way in that regard. and went and got a normal job and um, my wife and I started to sort of eke out a living for ourselves and um, which was great it was beautiful but uh, we both kind of knew that it was time for me to get back out there and start writing and recording again so that's what that's what we've done kind of following uh, following the calling that, that that's on uh, all my life so you know what I would like to say is for the people that have have uh, been around for a long time and have have listened to the music and felt a uh, a connection to the music from the early days you know all the way through chamberlain and um because when i go out now to play and to tour and there's always this uh sort of nucleus of people that that uh, have been around for a long period of time and have always felt sort of a kindred connection to the music so it makes my job now so much easier to have those people around so um, the only thing I want to say is obviously a uh, uh, thank you to all those people who have continued to believe and and uh, and get connected with the music and uh, stay with me because um, hopefully we got a lot a lot more to do. So yeah, that's it. You guys can come on through. Come on. How are you tonight? Good. How are you? Good. How are you? Fantastic. <laughs>